exciting delivery outside. Is the inspiration is the muse and the mother of Francois Nars, and she's a lady called Claudette, super glamorous. And this is a collection inspired by her. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. Really I'm balloon doing? modelling. Is yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you've been posing all day. <laughs> there we are. Amazing. A little thank bit of you kind so of Valentine's Day. So cute. <laughs> so cute. We've just been on a little shoot. I haven't actually got my camera on me because we literally in this lunch break. But I just got cool and our sofas arrived. <laughs> Honestly, I can't wait. It's so exciting. We're literally, luckily we're only around the corner. Could you imagine yeah. if we went for like a massive walk? But, yay! <laughs> a sofa's just arrived, but they couldn't help us up the stairs. <laughs> so me and Hells literally had to like, they, they were huge boxes. But yeah, this is the job for today. I need to film first. That was my job, but... Um, don't look sweaty. Don't I? Good afternoon. Hello and welcome back to my vlog. I feel like that was a bit of a runaround for the beginning of the vlog but I feel like when I decided to vlog for, I look really pale, um, when I decided to vlog for lunchtime, this is today's Tuesday, I feel like everything went on. I kindly got a lovely surprise from Nas which I'll go through with you in a minute. And then Helena and I plan to go and quickly do an outfit because for once the weather is nice. And then all of a sudden we got a phone call and um, the Snug Sofa company were like, we're outside and we were like, oh my God. So we had to run back. And then they couldn't help us take the stuff upstairs just because of restrictions with safety. And so then me and Hells had to be like mucho men and carry up these humongous boxes. But yeah, so our sofas arrived. It arrived so quickly. With the delivery estimation, they said 2nd of Feb, between 2nd of Feb and 8th of Feb. So I always kind of like, don't get my hopes up for it to be arriving like super early, but it just arrived so quickly. So I think if Hells has got like a little break, we're gonna do it now or we're gonna set it up later. But it's so gorgeous. Here's like a little sneak peek. It's such a lovely colour, so yeah, I'm so excited to put this up. I just think we've missed a sofa. We've only not had a sofa for like a week. But yeah, no, like, I'm really excited. And it feels very empty without a sofa in here. We're also currently trying to see if we have any companies around the area who collect recycled cardboard. Hell's actually used to work for a recycling company. So she's actually quickly going to call them now to check if they are able to help out. But yeah, someone quoted like 50 pounds, which was crazy. I think the local council can collect it for like 16 because currently um, we have large boxes of cardboard around the hallways of our house which I don't think our neighbours would be very impressed with so I feel like I'm going to put you on a little time lapse and show you making the sofa <laughs> guys so Helen and I have done the sofa and we've both been <laughs> editing from the sofa this afternoon we've literally just been I feel like we're like kids so excited so excited to get on this sofa it is so comfortable it's really like nice because it's like it's not upright but it's just, like comfy and it's also really good level for the island where the other one was kind of like overhanging so we're happy, we got the DFS armchair here as well, and we've put Hells's chair in. Footstool. Yeah! <laughs> the footstool is a dream. So tonight's dinner, we have leftover um, ragu. Oh, my little chef. And we had a bit of butternut squash left, so we're gonna roast that and a bit of salad. But whilst the, whilst the butternut squash is in the oven, we're gonna go and do cardboard recycling. recycling because we have a lot of it. 
So we just want to get it out. Like it's out of the house, the flat, but it's not out of the house. So we want to keep our <laughs> neighbors happy. So yeah, so a very, 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 very weird day actually, isn't it? The most distracted ever. The most procrastinating day ever, but we got a lovely sofa and it looks so cute. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit after we've done the first like dinner is served so we've got leftover ragu like i said and then we did butternut squash oh this is actually vegan cheese as well how's got from is it was it the crystal palace market mm -hmm. which is a bomb like it's so good i mean bomb in like it is incredible houses normal cheese got normal mixtures cheese. of cheese vegan cheese. free cheeses but it was like eight pounds wasn't it it was quite expensive yeah. is it? it comes like in a kind of like a camembert circle um, but it's like creamy, it's beautiful. So yeah, that's dinner tonight. We're gonna catch up on Gilmore Girls. So I will catch you guys in the morning. some miso honey aubergine with some crispy chickpea flour paprika tofu and then this like miso peanut butter noodles with what's it called kalettes 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 which are like little mini kales so we're gonna tuck into this and i'll get you good morning guys so it is thursday I kind of started the vlog properly here we're off to go and get a free coffee there has been a cafe down in clapham called under over during this week from 7 till 10 a.m they've been doing free coffees so that's what we're gonna go and do and it's 7 30. you see a little bit of a queue and i think you have to order in advance but yeah we're gonna grab a coffee and go for a nice walk around the park because it's a really lovely morning the weather's actually really nice for once it's been so gloomy so yeah so we're going to enjoy our coffees around the common <laughs> Good morning guys. So I'm just setting myself up to film a Valentine's makeup look. I'm gonna only do two and I feel like I wanna do this because I, not gonna lie, I'm quite honest with my fashion I think online. I want to make sure that there's makeup looks that you can just zhuzh yourself up with but keep on the comfy clothes. Like I don't think I'll be wearing a dress. I might wear a dress with some ties but yeah. I feel like I'm just going to do some like quick makeup looks. I'd rather put on like a bit of glam makeup than an outfit, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm doing now. I look so tanned. I tried the Saint-Tropez mist on my face after I put on all my moisturizers and it is incredible. It is, it's this one here, the Saint-Tropez, the self-tan purity purifier. And yeah, I've just sprayed it on over my face and it's just gave a really nice glow. And it's something that I've always wanted to try because I've always seen Lydia Millen. That she always applies it onto her face. It just looks incredible. Like, I'm just so obsessed. 
yeah no that was really good that arrived yesterday so i am loving that but yeah like i said i'm just going to film a quick makeup look i think i'm going to be doing a pink kind of look i'm gonna do like a bit of a charlotte tilbury one i have actually saved a board and then I think I'm going to do this one for my get ready with me on this Friday coming up, which is already gone. So yeah, like I saved saved some pictures of like some inspiration. Like I really like that one. Like that's so subtle and so beautiful. Just like a really nice like natural glossy pink look. Like just, it looks really lovely. So I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to be doing that. And then later I'm going to film a kind of like what I would wear on Valentine's Day just to have a bit of fun with it um so yes i'm gonna get cracking and catch you guys in a bit so i've just filmed this makeup look just super fresh and like natural so now i'm going to film like what i would wear at valentine's day me and hells are doing a valentine's night so we're gonna cook our favorite ragu and have a pasta and then we're gonna do affregato which is like an espresso shot with a scoop of ice cream and it's just delicious and we might make some cocktails but we're definitely gonna dress up just to make ourselves feel fab and just an excuse to dress up for Galentine's so we're gonna do that Saturday night so yeah so I thought I would share like what I'd be wearing and thought that'd be quite cute so yeah so I'm gonna crack on with that and catch you guys in a bit okay so I've just done a quick Valentine's outfits I actually really enjoyed it I've done three outfits kind of all a bit different all black but as I said, I'm quite real on this channel. I literally wear black all the time. Um, but I wanted to quickly show you this dress because it's so beautiful. This is from River Island and I think it's so sweet and can go really well also in the summer because I just adore this kind of like broderie anglaise and then it's got this kind of like mimic of the self portrait kind of vibe and I just absolutely love it I got in my true size probably probably could have gone down to a six I might see if I can but I actually quite like how comfy and loose it is but yeah I thought this would be actually a really nice outfit for like a valentine's galentine's evening it's got really nice cuffs and really nice buttons so yeah, I thought that was really cute, but I'm going to quickly tidy up the mess. And I'm also really enjoying this pink makeup. I didn't think I'd actually like the pink on me, but actually, it looks okay. I'm very particular about what is on my face. Like this outfit, I feel like I want to put another bit of fake tan on. I might save myself for Valentine's weekend and just feel a bit super glowy, super preppy. I just love dressing up. I just, it makes me feel so good. Like, just so fun and something to do it. Like, I just love putting on makeup anyway. So yeah, I definitely think I'm going to dress up for Valentine's Day. I feel think that'd be really sweet. But anyway, I'm gonna catch up with you guys later because I need to organize this mess behind me. <laughs> So guys, it chucked it down outside. Oh my goodness, I went and quickly got a coffee. Oh, look at my little Nars heart. But I've just received a lovely order from a company called Let's Sanitize. So I thought I'd quickly show you what one has got. Yeah, so Let's Sanitize have kindly sent me some products. They did ask me in advance. This isn't sponsored, this is just kindly gifted. But I wanted to give them a try and who can turn down hand sanitizer? at the moment it's quite handy getting some so first up first up they sent over their sprays which i love we i got one from oliver bonus called han hand sanitizer and it's lovely and it's got like a really nice fragrance but again this is another brand this is a new brand i actually spotted this on i believe her name's nori she's been trying these sorry if this is really annoying um yes she was using these so they've kindly sent me free hand sanitizers so we've got peach mist i actually feel like the sprays are so much nicer than the actual gels it's just so much lighter oh i feel like that's a fragrance i used when i was like a kid that smells so good and then you have eau de blanc eau de blanc mist which i think this will be my favorite because i like quite a dark smell Oh my god, that's amazing. Hells, you've got to smell these mists. They're amazing. That's like a fragrance. That's so nice. And then also sandalwood and lemongrass mist. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my god. So lovely of them. And then they kindly sent me their larger hand gels. This is Eau de Noir. 
and also watermelon. I actually can't believe I'm doing an unboxing of hand sanitizers. This is the nicest hand sanitizers I think I've ever smelled. Oh, oh my God, amazing. So that's quite a classic simple one. And then there's watermelon. You have to smell this one. Like you'd want your boyfriend to smell like that. Oh my God, unreal. How nice is that? Oh, watermelon's really nice as well. This one reminds me of, um, mm, your hands smell really good. I literally sprayed everything on my hand. Smell that one, that's peach mist. That reminds me of like when I was younger, like a fragrance I used to wear. Oh my gosh. Like yeah, really very sweet. sweet. And then this is sandalwood and lemon, lemongrass. This is like perfume, isn't it? <laughs> How nice are oh, those? Wow. So nice. So a massive thank you to Let's Sanitize. I will leave them down below, but they are absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna have some lunch now. Hells is gonna have baked beans, baked beans on toast. And I'm gonna have, um, we have leftover aubergine. I really fancy that with um, some avocado and salad. So that's what I'm gonna have. So casually keep diving into So this is the leftover aubergine, uh, bit of salada, the tuck in the, the back seat. What's left of me? Drowning in what feels just like an ocean. Negativity is getting closer. How to keep the human it gets colder. I've done some lovely, lovely yoga, and now it's Jackie P night. It's wine night. We're gonna be try. We're gonna try and be good, aren't we? Yeah. And not drink on Sunday. Yeah. I had a bit of rubbish sleep. Thank you. On um, cheers, thank you. On Sunday, so I wasn't feeling that great. So we're thinking about stopping Sunday drinking, then then we feel fresh. But then I feel like that's good because we haven't. We drink on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I think that's enough. So yeah. So we're gonna try, try and commit to that. So yeah, we just did a boho beautiful yoga class. That was 20 minutes. The Jackie P's are in the oven. And we're gonna watch The Great, some an episode a series that we've been catching up on. It's actually quite good. And we also have started watching The OC. It's like an old school, like 90s series, but it's quite cute. Kind of like 90210 in a way. Yeah, so we're watching that. I'm just taking it really chilled this evening. I feel like this week has been very, just like moody, like the weather has just affected us so much and feeling very repetitive and it's just raining all the time and it's really dull. We're just gonna take this week slow um, and just accept that it's been a bit of a moo moo of a week. But yeah, and we're also adoring the sofa. The sofa is so cute and comfy and I actually really like the color. I didn't realize it was gonna be this taupey and it's just so lovely, especially with the contrast of the creams and the whites and the accessories. It just looks so lovely. So I'm really glad, I'm really happy we went for it. But we're just gonna have a glass of wine whilst we wait for the Jackie Peas to get ready. I got some blo a block of vegan cheese. I feel like grated vegan cheese is like non-existent anymore. I've struggled so much to get hold of it. Um, so yeah, it's gonna wait for that and start watching The Great. I don't know if this actually looks appetizing or what. But this is Jackie Peanut and Jackie Peanut is comfy, yummy food. Yeah, it doesn't have to look like Doesn't have it. to look nice. But House has got baked beans, tuna mayo, tuna mayo and brie. What's um, that? No, it's just like a soft cheese. Oh, it? oh nice. And then I've gone for plain tuna, vegan cheese, bit of chili jam, bit of balsamic with sweet potato. I mean, mm. yours probably looks nicer than mine. Do you think? I think yours looks nicer. I don't know if mine looks very brown. I don't know, I'm gonna stop showing our ugly face. Good morning, guys. So, I thought I would do my morning routine with you. So I'm gonna start off with the Ren Skincare Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA. And I just leave a cotton pad on it. I use this cotton pad like two to three times and then I put it in the wash because I put it on a clean face, so. I feel like that's okay. But good morning. Feeling a lot better today. I've really struggled these this week. I just I don't know what it is. I've just had such a self-doubt and 
just like feeling sorry for myself and it's just I'm bored of it now <laughs> I'm bored of feeling like this so I'm get, gonna get out of it um and just enjoy life and career that sounds so cheesy but I have so much self-doubt and I think that's because I've done a big thing I've moved out I'm this sounds really silly I'm paying I'm a fully independent woman now and I'm, that, may be, that may sound late to a lot of people, but I was very in a fortunate position where I was living at home and my parents were very willing for me to do that and could afford to because as they wanted me to invest into saving and really push for this career that I have. So, so I'm very grateful for that. So from uni till now, I've been able to live at home and just save up all my pennies and really push for this career that I have desired and dreamed about and for some reason I have had so much self-doubt now and I think that is because of money I think which is madness like I love what I do and I'm so fortunate that I have been working all lockdown um but I think I actually just when it comes down to it is I really miss my boyfriend and I really miss my family and I think how I'm dealing with it is through self-doubt in my career. I don't know why, but I'm gonna get out of it because I feel like it's just so boring feeling like this now. So Helena and I have done a lovely bit of yoga. We've done a workout with her mum and godmother. I've just put on my Ren Brightening Eye Cream. I do have a discount code, which I'll leave down below. And then I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte's, Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Serum. This has got vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. So yeah, so sometimes I have to have a little bit of a talk to myself to make myself feel a little bit better. But I don't know if it's because it's Friday. The sun is out finally. Oh my God, the sun is out. So I don't know if this all in all is making me feel like in such a good mood. I've really planned out my day. Last night I did it and I think, usually I do plan out my day, but I think I really sat down and like organised timing and I think that's really helped, it's made me feel really productive, I'm on schedule, so yeah, so I feel in a good mood and I'm trying to keep myself in a good mood, I still like, I want to explain it, it's like a wound that is healing, I'm on the healing process, I, it's not like I'm, you know when like a wound, when it happens it really hurts and then the healing part is still like, it's it getting better but it's still a little bit sore that's how my wobble is, but I'm feeling okay. We're going with the Murad Essential C Daily Moisturiser. This has SPF 30 in it. Really enjoying this moisturiser. I think it's really lovely. So yeah, so I'm having my talks with myself. I've put my Boost Energy Diffuser on my Neon Candle on, and I'm ready to go. I've got a really lovely day actually, so I'm going to start off with as it's Friday, my Friday get ready with me. Helena is on her run and I'm going to be doing a Valentine's look. I did do a poll last night, so it was very 50-50 last night, but I did do a practice run with the pink look because I filmed it for my YouTube yesterday. That's my skincare, my morning skincare. And then I take my tablets. First off, I'm going to make my overnight oats with you guys. I get a bowl, collagen, chia seeds. And then a bit of protein. I'm gonna go for chocolate today. A scoop of protein. This is the Misfits protein. I've spoken about it a couple of times, but if you're new to my channel, I do also have another discount code. This isn't sponsored. They've just kindly given me a discount code for you guys and you get 20 or 15% off. And then I do a scoop, that measurement of chia seeds. If you wanna check them out, I really recommend them. It's a really lovely protein. I have the chocolate and the vanilla one. We love it. And then I'm gonna put the collagen in. I just do a big scoop of that. I just find that the easiest way to take collagen. Apparently we lose collagen in our 20s, so making the most of it. And then just rinse it under some water. Kind of like how you would do your oats. And um, I just mix it in. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge and then I'm going to go and get ready for my my get ready stories, my makeup stories. Smells insane. So that's what it looks like, just a really delicious protein pudding. <laughs> so guys, I have just done my makeup look over on my stories and I'm just so happy how it turned out. I went for this glowy bronze goddess red lip uh, lip and I was so nervous doing a red lip on 
like live I was just oh but I did it and it was really good and I'm really happy with the results so the next job is to have breakfast because it gets to this point where I feel a little bit shaky and I need to eat I'm just quickly linking all the products to go on to my stories so people can shop the makeup look if you don't follow me on like to know it I will link everything down below as usual um but on my like to know it I link my makeup my jewelry my clothes my interior pieces so if you are looking for any items then definitely go and check that out so that's what I do is I just put it all on there so then it's just easier to find so yeah so really happy with that and I'm so happy that the sun is shining um I honestly am over the moon I can't believe it I'm just honestly the sun makes me so happy but apparently on the news i was just saying on my stories that i think we're in for a lot worse than it has been so yeah not that great but yeah i'm gonna carry on doing this and i will catch you guys in a bit you know sometimes everything just gets hard sometimes everything just gets harder feeling like i'm I keep changing in today's vlogs but I've just had some lunch it's quite late actually it's half free but Helena has just received a fabulous delivery and she's making were you making a chai latte yeah, chai and turmeric I'm just gonna pop you on the kettle because Hells has just received the most delightful delivery from her parents because Hells was kindly helping them with the what's it called Vodafone Vodafone which was an absolute nightmare okay. as the cheerleader <laughs> so they've kindly sent a box of goodies this is a great Friday afternoon this is a great <laughs> Friday afternoon I can see one already Hells and I know what it is can you? well what happens on a Friday? Hey! Hey! <laughs> East London Liquor Co. Oh. Some of our normal cremor. Beautiful. Ooh. Italian. Valle Poleca Rapi Ripazio. Superior. A Greek red. The thing. Oh, is that another? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. That's that one. <gasps> Yum! Oh my god, that was so cute. I didn't put one in. She's already put one in the fridge. And what's, what should we do this evening? Do you want to go for a walk? We've got to be here between six and eight. Then let's go for a walk at like five. Mm -hmm. I'm avoiding a uh, work social at five. So better to be out of the house then. Oh, this day is just making me so excited for summer. Yeah. This is the only day that's going to be like this for a very long time. It's going to be okay tomorrow morning, yeah. And then Sunday, it's going to chuck it down with snow apparently. Did you know that? No. It's going to snow. It's going to snow. It's going to snow. But like now, it feels really nice and like sunny and summer like it feels like spring i'm gonna crack on with work we've got about an hour and a half left let's got do this, this. egg and also <laughs> I burnt my ear and then I cut I scratched the burn and it's just blood everywhere so that's why if you're wondering what that is it's a plaster on my ear but I kindly got sent a really lovely delivery from a girl called Charlotte she owns a company called Dirty and Sweet and I came across it through Instagram and I didn't I didn't think she'd send me stuff but I I actually ordered stuff for my friend uh, for her birthday because I felt like Everyone's a bit dumb with flowers, like I love flowers obviously, but I, I've all, all I've done is pretty much send flowers. So I thought I'd spice it up a bit this year and kind of like make a little bit more effort to like send cocktails or cakes or anything like that. So I ordered from Dirty and Sweet to send to my friend and I'm going to pop a picture here. And they were, well, they looked unreal. I ordered tiramisu cupcakes because that's her favourite. And then like the strawberry and chocolate cupcake and also very berry, which I think we have like a healthy version. But I didn't realise she also does like health 
treats so she does all the like the, the naughty ones but she also does like gluten free dairy free like sugar refined free cakes and like energy balls and stuff like that and she's kindly she literally just popped over I, she didn't come in she um just came to the door um but she kindly brought some over to me and i thought that was so cute honestly she really didn't have to and i wasn't expecting that at all but i have to show you guys because it is so lovely and i'm i, I don't want to open it because it's so beautiful this is how they come so if you do want to order them for friends it's really affordable as well and it's obviously an independent company and she just makes it look so so beautiful so i wanted to open them with you she's also kindly given me some energy balls which will obviously go down a tree i was going to freeze them but i really don't think i really don't think they're going to be frozen i think they're going to be eaten instantly oh my goodness <gasps> oh my god so we've got a very berry one i don't know what one that is no but i'm going to show you this picture this is her this is her instagram i'll leave her instagram down below and her name's Charlotte, and she's so lovely. Oh my goodness, they look so good. That icing looks incredible. Mmm. Coffee. Is it coffee? Yeah. Mm. Good? Oh, really good. Really good. It's like coffee soap. How's she done the icing? Because that looks like really good, like icing. My favourite bit. Mmm. That's amazing. Good. Mm. Oh my god, thank you so much. Right, we're gonna tuck into these. And on tonight's plan, we're making pisco sours. Pisco sours! Coconut sugar, so they look a bit dark. <laughs> but they weren't so bad with the gym. They were delicious though, but they just don't look like pisco sours. They look like kind of espresso martinis <laughs> mixed. And then we're making ramen. You're a bit harsh on yourself, really. <laughs> so it's, it's, but it's very different. Usually like a pisco sours is quite yeah, like lemony and light. Um, but yeah, this is incredible. These are definitely not going in the freezer. These are probably going to be swallowed whole. So thank you so much. That was so kind, Charlotte. And so, so I will, like I said, I will leave everything down below because if you're London-based, I would really, really recommend it. Yum. Mm -hmm.